Hey guys, in this video, I am going to talk about a very useful activity. This activity is called the fill form activity, which is an AI activity. Meaning, what would be the benefit? Using this AI activity, you can do data entry. Lot of our automations where you would be needing this, wherein you don't have to use type into uh, activity several times in a form. Let's say you have got 10 fields to type, 20 fields to type, 50 fields to type. You have to have so many type into activities. Now, this single activity can do the job of all or many type into activities. How it is being done, I am going to show you in this video. So, do not skip the video, watch till the end. Let me show you how you get this activity. For this, I am in the 2025, the latest studio I am currently using as of date. What I have to do, I have to click on the activities panel. Here is the icon. And here simply type Gen AI. If you type Gen AI and scroll down the list, there is an activity called fill form. And this is a AI activity. If you drag and drop this particular activity, it is going to install the necessary packages or the dependencies on your studio. Now, this particular fill form, if you highlight this, this is part of uipath.uiautomation.activities. And if you go to your projects panel by clicking on this icon, here if you see, this is part of uipath.uiautomation.activities. 25.10.8 okay if you have this package version then you you should be able to see this fill form now let's see what is the fill form activity imagine you have a form on website or app like a job application insurance claims or contact form you have a form which you have to fill and you want a robot to fill it out for you using data it already has. The fill form activity in UiPath uses AI to automatically fill out that form with data pulled from things like you have a document, you have a PDF, you have an Excel, a dictionary or a table or a JSON output from previous extraction steps. So it requires certain data and it will automatically understand this data where it will fit. It will, the AI will automatically, as a human, we understand, for example, if I provide you an Excel, looking at the column name, you can understand where this can go. So AI would use its cognitive abilities to decide where the data best fits. It will automatically fill out the form for you. The next thing, how this one works. So here you place this activity inside a browser or app window, use application browser. I'm going to show you that. You give it a data source like customer info, extracted invoice data, whatever you would like to give, you can provide it. It uses AI to match the fields. It will understand which field, which data to go and fill them out smartly. Even if the field name don't exactly match, even if the field name don't exactly match, it can still identify okay, where this data should best fit into. So that is what this fill form activity is going to help about. So let's see in UiPath Studio how this one is going to work, how you can use this activity. Let's see this. Now to do this exercise, let's go to a website called rpachallenge.com. In this website, there are two benefits. One is you have a ready-made form and also you have input files. So this form, the number of times you hit on submit, the form layout also changing. You see, if I hit on submit, the layout of the form is also changing every time. You see, it is giving different, different layouts and the inputs are also moving here and there. Okay, roll-in company phone number. Now here, roll-in company first name. So like that, the entire form is changing. So this is the site you should first access. Next, let's hit on download Excel. Now this is going to download an Excel file. Let's open the file. Okay, so this is how the file would look like. It has first name, last name, company name, role in company, address, email, phone number. These are the fields. If you go back to the application, 
it also has similar fields first name email role in company address i mean the same set of fields it has got now if i have to ask you build an automation using ui path you must have used multiple type into activity type into phone number field type into last name field type into address field type into company name type into email type into first name type into role in company i'm tired so you can see how many number of type into activities one has to use right so now you don't have to use many now you just have to use one activity now this is going to save a lot of time so let's learn this let's go back to studio so I'm back on to the studio here what we would do first of all it requires certain data we have to read that excel file so what i'm going to do the very first activity i'm going to use is excel process scope inside this i'm again going to click on plus sign and i am going to use the next activity called use excel file inside this then i'm going to show this activity where the input file is present i'm going to click on it and i'm going to go to downloads and select the input file and hit on open inside this use excel file i'm going to click on the plus sign and i'm going to use the next activity called read range i'm going to click on the plus sign here you see there is a plus sign i'm going to click on the plus sign it is automatically going to understand which are the sheets present in that file i know it is sheet 1 if you would like to double check let's go back to the file here in the sheet 1 this data is there after that let's create a variable now to create a variable i'm going to use this small icon where it says data manager let's click on this icon and let's create a variable i'm going to say excel input dt which is a data table and i'm going to select the data type as data table and i'm going to minimize the data manager and here i'm going to use the variable just now i have created excel input dt all right and now let's also see the scope the scope is actually there to the main it is this uh, variable can be used everywhere inside this main sequence let's minimize it after so the excel thing is done i'm going to minimize this the next activity i am going to use is the use application browser now you don't have to manually drag and drop all you do go to the activity panel okay and here i am going to say gen ai uh sorry fill form right fill form activity because you have already installed It'll, if you type fill form it is going to come i am going to drag and drop the fill form activity now by doing this this fill form activity is going to automatically encapsulate itself within the use application browser and inside that you have a fill form activity i am going to click on indicate before i click on indicate i have to ensure i keep the rpa challenge.com application in the background let's go back click on indicate application and select the entire application ensure you keep only one tab open at a time we found matching screen in object repository named chrome dot api uh, don't reuse so i'm going to start from the beginning i had used in the past okay so here i am going to remove the previous one okay so the new one is here fine now after that what should we do next all right let me close it after that in the fill form how this is going to work now this requires your excel has got multiple rows of data you see this is one row this is one row this is in one row so what i will do for this exercise i am going to keep 1 2 3 4 5 data only i am not going to keep all the data i'll remove this enable editing i am going to 1 2 3 4 5 i am going to keep or 4 i am going to keep and i'm going to delete the rest of the data and i'm going to save it okay done so we don't have to wait a lot of time okay so just we just we have to learn the activity 
so I have done the changes. Let's go back to the studio. Now in the studio, before the fill form activity, I'm going to use something called for each row in data table. And inside this, I'm going to drag and drop the fill form. So the fill form is now inside the for each activity. Inside that you have a fill form. Here I have to supply the data table. Just now we have created Excel input data table. And here I am going to simply each of the row data is going to sit in the current row variable. I am going to pass the current row variable inside the fill form. That's all you need to do. Okay, so it's going to continue to fill the form. After filling the form, there is one important thing. The robot should come and hit on submit. Click on submit. For that, inside the for each loop, I am using another activity called click. I am going to click on it. And I am going to indicate and hit on. Okay, just wait for a second. Okay, it's a new experience. All you have to do, click on the submit. So it will it will collect the all the information. You click on validate. Okay, validation successful. And you hit on confirm. It's a new uh, UI uh, selection form. Okay, so now it has come. So my automation is almost done. Let me minimize. Now you see, instead of having so many type into type into activities, I have minimized my code. I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it. Now to run, uh, what is the shortcut? Control F5. As a developer, you have to remember all this. Control F5. To debug, F5. To run a file, Control F6. Okay. To right, these are the different shortcuts. So I'm going to run it. So for, to run it, Control F5. So all I'm going to do, um, let me close this. Um, yeah, let it be later. That's fine. All I'm going to do, hit on Control F5. So the execution has started. Let's see what's going to happen. First of all, it'll take some time to read that Excel file which I have, which which I have, and after that it should enter the data. Okay, you can see now the bot has started typing. I did not use any single type into activity. The fill form activity is doing everything for me. Okay, it has submitted the data. Now it should enter the next set of data. Okay, so the next set of data has started. Jane, the first name is Jane. And hit on submit. Okay. Now the next set of data has started writing. That is interesting. See, the AI is understanding where to enter what data and it's doing pretty fine. Address, role in company, email address, last name, first name. This is interesting. So you saw how this fill form activity is working. Try this out and let me know in the comment section how meaningfully you can use this fill form. I gave, just gave an example on rphallenge.com. Practically, did it help you in your work? Are you going to do you are you getting some idea? Instead of using so many type into activity in one of your automation, would you like to try this fill form? If so, please do comment and let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Let's meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care.